Yeah, so we're very thankful uh, for the response that we received from FEMA and the, and the, at the highest level and national level, and we thank um, our emergency management um, with Mark Pappas uh, for making sure that that happened. We were one of the few states we were able to get that uh, help, and uh, I know that when I toured there and, and uh, welcomed the, the FEMA staff from all over the country, by the way, uh, and thanked them for that, it was very, 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 um, it reminded me of what happened at the dunk when we had FEMA doing the shots as we were really accelerating the shots. Uh, so yes, very, very important. Uh, as far as the National Guard goes, I, I don't think you have to, you know, you, I don't think you have to uh, say it over and over again, but I, don't th I think you do have to continue to thank the National Guard for their response uh, with the General Callahan and that entire management team. They stand ready, continually stand ready, uh, and we're very fortunate to have which is one of the best, if not the best, National Guards in the, in the country, and their response has been, uh, you know, beyond explanation, to tell you the truth, in terms of that response. So yes, so both uh, the National Guard and FEMA have been extremely helpful, and as I said in my comments, we're, I think that we, I know we're happy, the fact that they, we've extended, uh, as we did, remember, when we were coming up in the fall, uh, the date of FEMA's reimbursement was going to end on the 31st. So we were certainly, uh, you know, making arrangements for that to happen. When it got extended to March 31st, we responded to that as well. We're doing the same thing right now, having it extended to the end of June. That gives us a great more flexibility, uh, and we're going to take advantage of it. Thanks.